you guys ready to get hot? Hey everybody, I'm Zay Zay. Welcome to ZayZay.com and tonight, Zay Zay and the fan base are getting their philanthropy on. We teamed up with Circle of Friends and we're in Newark, New Jersey tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Fireball 2015. And now I have the privilege and honor of standing here with uh, one of the founders of Circle of Friends uh, and has been there really on both sides, uh, the Project Fire and Circle of Friends right from the beginning. Oh, this yeah. is Patrick Kelly. How you doing today? Oh, I'm good. Good to see you there, Zay Zay. How are you? Good, man. I'm, thank you for inviting us to, to be a part of this event. Well, you had to say yes first. Yeah. But we appreciate you coming out. <laughs> I was one of the first health educators in the country when the epidemic of HIV slash AIDS broke out. People were dying and getting and over in New York, but people was also dying here in Newark. Sure. And there was no services, there was nobody reaching out to the community. So a good friend of mine who's Dean, James Dean Credo at Rutgers. He's also a Vietnam vet. He's been done a lot of programs here. And uh, someone gave him a call and say we need to do something about the people who are dying here in North New Jersey. And he called a group of us together, and that's how Project Fire was born. Since it was gay black men primarily that was being infected with this disease back in the, in the early 80s, late 80s and the 90s, we decided to partner with the ballroom community, which is an underground subsidy of the African American and Latino community. Sure. So we said, how can we get uh, safer sex messages, HIV prevention messages, how can we let them know where they can get services from and that. So we said, the ball. And now I'm hanging out with Aaron or AKA Una, mother of the house of divine. Una, mother of the house of divine. As the mother of a house, I was teaching and raising my kids, teaching them the best way to be. Because of the ballroom scene, it teaches, it's a lot of hoopla and it's a lot of illusion, but it's about putting your best foot forward. For me, I was about teaching them, we come to have fun. We come to have camaraderie. We come to interact with other people. The fireball is an expression of We've dealt with the, the harshness of death and dying. This is a celebratory event about you. We're living. We're living longer. We, we're teaching younger people about being responsible to, uh, for themselves and for the community. Each one teach one. That was the old model and still the model today. privilege of hanging out with the organizers of the Fireball, uh, one of the co-founders and the new mantle head, if you if you will, right? You, you taking up the mantle now. <laughs> this yes, is, yes, this yes. is Scooter and this is Bernie. How you guys doing today? Hey, how you doing everybody? Doing yeah. feeling well. You doing all right? Yeah. Pretty good. And also, wait a minute, let me first say, yes. this is Scooter Balenciaga. Yes. And I am Bernie Ebony. Bernie Ebony. Yeah, so, you know, we have a little um, handle to our name, so that's <laughs> our organization. That's who we represent. <laughs> I love it. What made you want to do this event in the first place? Well, when we first did it, we, it was a situation where we were trying to, you know, get the black community, the ballroom community involved and safe for sex prevention. And we fought to get the right, you know, so to, for people to express themselves in a way, but bring unity to the community. It's evolved. And that's why we have new leadership. Why did you want to get involved in the first place? Well, I mean, first is I um, really like what the message that they stood for, far as like the HIV prevention piece. Sure. Um, but then I like far as like the new branding that they wanted to do, put a fresh face on it, and mm -hmm. you know make that whole active again for the the new LGBT you know community that's really emerging and taking off in the you know greater North area. Why ballroom? Why ball? And let me tell you something. I'm gonna tell no, you why ballroom. Why ball? <laughs> ballroom is actually like almost the the cradle of most of the going on right now. Madonna, Vogue, yeah. that was ballroom. Right. Janet Jackson, the moves, the look, that was ballroom. Fashion, Gautier, 
Um, East Saint Laurent, Tom Ford, that was ballroom. Tonight, what can we expect? So tonight you're going to expect a lot of special guests. Um, you're going to have a lot of um, surprises, um, awards given out. There's going to be um, a, a lot of fun categories. I'm looking forward to seeing runway, seeing the costumes and effects. Yeah. Uh, so just get ready for a few funs and treats. Thank <laughs> you.